Hello, people of the interwebs. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be a little bit more of a vlog day and it's gonna involve go-kart stuff because I didn't get to give that thing a proper shakedown in the last video because too many things were breaking and working the bugs out. Hey, watch this, ready? Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> so we're gonna do that today. Let's go places. When have you got that joke? It was terrible. Ta-da! Look, I finally have a workbench in my shop. It's adjustable height, I can raise or lower it, and it folds and collapses up against the wall if I need more room. So no more hearing me complain about not having a workbench. Taken care of. If you don't know what this car is, then you're, you missed out on life. Anyway, the go-kart, if you recall, this was the issue that happened. So this bearing right here, there's actually a little retaining clip that holds it into the top of the frame, but because that bearing was all rusted and corroded when I bought the go-kart, I cleaned it up as best as possible, and that must have been just enough thousands of material removed from it that caused it to pull past the clip. Right inside this groove right here, there's actually a little clip in there, and that's what locks this thing into place. There's several ways I can go about remedying this situation, one of which would be to machine a new bearing that goes inside there since you can't order it. The go-kart's long too old for that or I could put regular roller bearings in there like you have on the kingpins, or I can do this. Now, I ordered this a while back, not really knowing that I was gonna need it for this exact situation. I ordered it more for appearance because it's red and it's an accent color, but this collar serves more of a purpose than I realized at the time when I ordered this. I just saw other go-karts had them, and I was like, I don't have one of those, I want one. <laughs> so. Anyway, it's a little bit different red. That's gonna bother me. But it's gonna go right here and prevent this shaft from pulling up. Let's go, penguin. I got a penguin in the seat. I have no idea how this clip comes out of here. It's not like a normal clip. It looks like it's like a proprietary thing just designed specifically for this go-kart. Scalpel. What's that Eminem song? Starts out like that. Here it is. That's the clip that's supposed to be holding this thing in there and it failed. It's a weird clip. We'll make great pets. We'll make great pets. Ah, so this washer is not big enough. Now I understand how this thing is supposed to work and what was missing. If you look right here in the bottom of the steering shaft, it has this little tapered end on there. Well, this inside of the bearing is actually supposed to be able to pivot on side that bearing. And there should be another one of these on the bottom with a nut holding it in place. But that was missing, so it wasn't allowing it to do that. I tried my luck at the hardware store looking around to see if I could find any parts that would made up to this robot's wedding ring and I got boned, nothing. So I guess I'm just gonna have to good enough fix it until I can machine some new parts. Hooray for half assery. There we go. How did I pull that thing out? That's insane. Cute. It's got little set screws on the side of the collar so you can slide it down over the shaft and it'll bite onto it. Usually you don't ever want to do that, but in this instance, I think it's okay. Yeah, they are different red. That one matches the engine cover perfectly though. My OCD is this bad. I'm changing out this hardware just because I don't want Phillips head screws because everything else is an Allen head. One last thing to do, and this is an important thing to do. Bubble stick. 
Oh man, it's chrome. It's got spotty rust on it. It was black online when I ordered it. What is this crap? Something like that. There, just like that. No more stupid chrome. This has to count for something, all right? It may not be bolted down to the bench, but at least it's on a bench this time instead of the floor. I gotta get bolts for it before I can mount it. Baby steps. Whoa, that's why you bolt it down. That was painful to do as much as it was probably painful to watch. I have you on my tripod. Mobile troop tripod. Why is that so hard to say? This side of the frame is kind of tricky to put a seat mount on. So I had to use this special bracket. That's gonna be perfect. One last thing before I can do the shakedown run. These, these are critical because those seat mounts are made out of metal and I live in the f***ing geological oven of the world. Let me accidentally forget this thing out in the sun for 30 minutes and go to sit down on it. Especially these ones down here. Oh yeah, that's a lovely little treat to have in your thigh. Just 200 degree round circle of aluminum welding away on flesh. Look what I did earlier. I already got bit by a spider. I have no idea what kind of spider it was, but whatever it was, it pissed off my leg and skin pretty bad. It looks like a sad blob. I know you're supposed to put it the other way around, but this is softer. What is this? Oh, it's a hot rod. What did you say it was, a 55 Chevy? 56 Chevy? Yeah. That's like the fins on the back tell a difference, right? Kind of, yeah. The 57 is the one with the big fins. This is the mid one. So we uh, have all of them. Oh, the roof's pretty. Oh, yeah, I see that throwing. Yeah. I get easily distracted by paintwork. ready to take for a shakedown. I'm gonna try something. I have my GoPro on my head and I have a lavalier mic hook up, hooked up to it and it's in my helmet and we'll see if this works. Fired it up the first time. Okay, here it goes. I don't know how these got out of adjustment, but that's why it was handling like absolute garbage. It was way towed in. Okay, that should be good. It sucks my tie rod got all scratched up from the brake linkage when the steering column came out. That sucks. I'm gonna have to figure something out better than down here. Cause I don't like that at all. I think I am gonna measure the diameter of that hole and just put two roller bearings in there. I think that would be the best way to go doing this. I just don't know how else to do it. Oh, that's better. That's much better. At least it's not wobbly all over the place now. I want so much more out of it. It just it sucks. It gets to the governor and it's it. Now I see why people say you're not supposed to do a solid brake line on these because it makes the brakes lock up as soon as you touch them. So I need to change that out to a braided brake line. <laughs> I 
go-kart's too slow now. I'm used to it. Because I got an 11 inch rear tire and a 1260 sprocket, this thing's top speed at 3600 RPM is 24 miles per hour. That thing, whatever it was it just drove by, is going clearly faster than 24. I need to go that fast. I had to stop and pause and watch the sunset. It's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous out here. It's like maybe 75 degrees outside, light breeze. Feels so good. It's like perfect go-kart weather. Let's see if this makes it tighter. How's that? There we go. There we go. I stuck a copper crush washer and then a regular steel washer and then a lock nut behind it in there. It's not the right way to do it, but just for now, I didn't honestly notice a difference with that slop in there. I need your guys' thoughts and opinions on something in the comment section below because I have something that's gonna be happening. I'm working at the same time, hold on. I have something that's gonna be happening at the on the channel in the next week or two and detailing content could fit into maybe two, three videos tops with what's gonna be happening. And I need your guys' input on how much of you would be like, yeah, I'm kinda down. It's gonna be more along the lines of like a restorative detailing content. Res restorative, restorative. Words are hard. This is embarrassing. I, I'm super embarrassed. I haven't cleaned the Forester in like four months because I, I hardly ever drive it. Don't judge. I filmed like a whopping 12% of cleaning the interior of this thing. It's not a detailing video, right? It's, I told you it's a vlog video, but yeah. The interior is much cleaner. Spent about 45 minutes on here, vacuumed it up and wiped everything down. The Forester is in pretty much almost new condition still, so it's pretty easy to keep this thing clean. Will the taco fit? Of course it will. Like a chalupa. Just gotta get like a centimeter from the wall and it fits. See, just like that, the taco fits. Just gotta get it super close in the garage and it fits. There's a penguin on the front of the car. I honestly don't remember the last time I filmed an entire YouTube video in one day. I, I usually take like two or three days to film these. This penguin's creeping me out. I need to give you guys a rundown of the plans. So go-kart, I'm going to order a billet rod, a billet flywheel, and a piston. So that way I can raise the governor on that thing and make it rev to like five or 6,000 RPM instead of 3,600, which should raise the speed to like 45, maybe 50. I don't know, I can't do the math in my head. As far as this thing goes, I just gotta get coil packs and I have everything else I need to do the standalone ECU and the distributor delete. Once I have those, I can start doing the MR2. That shouldn't be a huge series of work just because I'm going to be doing the wiring and switching over to standalone. Um, and then after that, I have the focus, which those guys should be almost done with prepping the inside of the shell. I'm going to start doing the paint work on that thing pretty soon once the wide body panels come from the UK for it. Why? Why is this? Why? <laughs> this is so creepy. I can't even talk right now. I'm going to paint the TT but I want to practice on the Focus first. And then, I don't know when the Bronco will be here whenever Ford decides to start building them. And the mystery item that will be happening in the next couple weeks that I had, n this was not planned. It just fell into my lap, literally. And I this is now gonna happen. And you guys are gonna be excited. It's pretty sentimental and it's automotive related and just you'll have to stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video in one day. So there'll be more stuff coming soon, like reviews. And I'm gonna go find food. It's really late. Bye. Yeah, buddy.